Wish me luck. Here we go. thinking it'd be like a bit of a bad fish type riff so uh yeah here we go <laughs> riff so you do that twice and you don't fuck up the, the one note there like I did which you'll look stupid if you do it live like I do constantly or did so I'll explain what I'm doing and then go through it slowly and then I'll play through it full speed again so we're starting on the E the songs an E standard just regular, good old fucking standard tuning. Minor E. Might be major. Most likely major. It has like a kind of a happier upbeat vibe to it. So I'm gonna assume it's E major. Let's just say. So we're starting here. And it's really based around just like a fifth chord. 
what a fifth chord is, you take your scale and you count out the like the notes on it. One is your root. Two, three, four, five. Fifth chord. That's that's all fucking punk space drums. Just like fifth chords. So yeah, it's a fifth chord with a little extra added on to it. I don't know, I'm fucking bad at explaining this shit, so. Pretty simple stuff, yeah, and my amps. So then we go into the verse, and it's fucking even easier. The only difference is instead of playing uh, going up here, I like to go up to, and do it on the E string. To me, I think it sounds better live. Like, uh, uh, for, for some reason, to me, like those higher frequencies don't really carry too well, like in a live setting. That's probably just because fucking I need to fix my tone and make it better, but I don't know. I like to play it up there because it just gives it like a like a fatter sound. And when you're playing with a three piece, like you gotta do everything you can to like fill that fucking void. You gotta get that low end rumbling. So parts that one's really easy it's just the fifth chord but you kind of arpeggiate it and then the second fill we're gonna start on the 10th fret hammer up to the 13th and this is on the e string 10 13 go over to the 12 on the a string and then the 12 on the on the D string and then you slide up to the yeah you slide up and you go back into the uh, hook riff I'm really bad at talking and explaining things I hope you friggin get something out of this so yeah uh play it slowly the verse part and then i'll play it proper speed One. into back into the hook
that a couple of times. And then we come to the fast little punky part. Hold that, give it a little shake. If you got distortion on, go up to your amp, fucking get a little feedback. Really, really drag that little section out. So yeah, we'll get into the punk part now. That goes... Shut cat and doing a lesson. Cripes. What do you want? You got your toy. Well, come here then. Hmm? What are you doing? Sorry, cat break. So yeah, the punk part, we're staying on the A string, like, the whole time. So we're going to start on the 7th fret of the A, go up to the 5th, 10th, 9th. Oh, my mistake, 10th to 12th, and then the last time you do it, you go 10 to 9. Whoops. So yeah, slowly it's it's like this. Do that, uh, let's do that first little part again, uh, full speed, and then, yeah, we'll just play through the whole thing. Seventh fret of the A string. Yeah. Uh, 
between those two. And seventh on the E string. Fifth on the A. And we're gonna do a little chromatic walk down. Six, seven. Thank you. 